Hello and welcome to this video. Version 419 of the Z1 dashboard software has just been released and in it there are a whole lot of new features. So in this video we are going to talk about the new edit mode. So stick around. Okay, so edit mode uh, is a new way to select dashboards for your car. So as you know, you can have up to 10 dashboards assigned to your car uh, in the Z1 dashboard. Uh, you can scroll through them uh, by clicking on the right or left side of the screen, or you can assign buttons to change the screens for you. In previous versions of the dashboard, you had to exit the car and go to the car one and two tabs of the setting dialog to change the dashboards that are associated with each car. You can see that uh, screen right here that you would use to make those changes. So using those screens is an excellent way to select the dashboard. The only downside is that you have to exit the car, change the dashboards, and come back into the car. So this is where edit mode comes into play. In version 419, you can turn edit mode on by right-clicking on the screen and right-clicking to turn it off, or you can control left-click to turn it on and control left-click to turn it off, uh, or you can assign a button to toggle the mode on and off, uh, and that's done in the buttons tab of the settings dialog, and again, that would be right here. So, uh, with edit mode turned on, uh, at the top, it says that you're in edit mode. It tells you the name of the dash that you're currently looking at. And at the bottom down here, at the left, it tells you the screen number. And remember, you can have up to 10 dashboards. So this could be screen 1, 2, 3, etc., depending on which one you're looking at. And uh, you see these little arrows here on the left and the right. Those allow you to scroll through the dashboard. So if I want to change this dashboard now, all I have to do is click on this right arrow or the left arrow, and it will go through the dashboards in alphabetical orders. So once you're in the car, you can choose the dashboard that you want to assign to that car. And you can keep scrolling through until you find the one that you're looking for. Now once you have the one you want, you just turn edit mode off again. So I right click to turn that off. Now let's say I want to go and choose uh, a dashboard for a different screen slot. So in this case, uh, my screen number two I've set to the standings dash. If I decide I didn't want that, I can go into edit mode here. And again, it says uh, screen two, because that's the one I'm working on. And I can click on the left and right arrows to change that dashboard. And now, when I click out of edit mode and scroll through my dashboards, the one I selected is there. So when I have uh, edit mode turned on, in addition to clicking on these arrows, if you have buttons assigned to the next and last screen option, when edit mode is on, those will actually scroll through your dashboards uh, in the same way that clicking on one of these arrows would. Uh, and then when you turn edit mode off, they go back to uh, cycling through the dashboards you've assigned to your car. Uh, and if you have an LCD screen with edit mode turned on, you can just uh, tap on the left or the right side of the LCD display to change the dashboard uh, within edit mode. Uh, and uh, the server also has a button assignment for edit mode. So you can uh, use wheel buttons or button box buttons when you're using your server to remotely uh, enter edit mode on a dashboard that might be on a different computer and change the dashes associated uh, with the screen while you're in edit mode through the use of buttons. So one thing to note is that edit mode lets you choose the dashboard to be displayed, but if you want to customize that dashboard further uh, by changing the font or the background color or various warning functions and things like that, you still need to go into the settings dialog and choose the uh, appropriate car 1, 2, or 3 tab to make those changes. So uh, with version 4.19, edit mode does make it a lot easier to choose your dashboards. And we hope this has been a useful video. Please subscribe to the channel. And we'll have more videos like this soon.